like to call the meeting to order uh, April 24th, 2013. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance to our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, nation under God, God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. A hey, roll call, please. Commissioner Steve Houston? Here. Commissioner Judd? Here. Commissioner Meyer? Here. Commissioner Fisher? Here. Commissioner Jackson? Here. Commissioner Garcia? Here. And I will note that Commissioner Gordon Machado is not present. And Executive Secretary Mike Shambliss? Here. Okay, verification of the agenda posting. The agenda for the Airport Advisory Commission of the City of Hollister regular meeting of April 24th, 2013 was posted on the Bolton Board at City Hall on April 19th, 2013 at 5.05 p.m. for Government Code Section 54954.2. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> okay, public input. This is the time for the public to comment. Make comments to the commission. Please be advised that the commission cannot act on any item that's not on the agenda. Do we have any speaker cards? Nope. No public input. Okay, we'll move on to reports. Airport manager report. Explanation of the IT's 13% airport portion of the expenditure of 26,000 bucks. Good evening, commissioners. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Paul De Silva, who's our IT manager for the city of Hollister. And he's up. Okay. Hey, commissioners, how you doing? Paul De Silva with the IT department here at the City of Hollister. I understand you have a question about the 13% uh, of the airport fund for the uh, fiber optic contract for either charter or actually to have a replacement fiber network for our, the city. Um, any questions at this time? Before? No? Okay. Um, as you can see, we have a centrally managed uh, network, all based here out of City Hall. Um, we have 10 locations all together from the community center, the police department, treatment plant, fire stations, airport. Um, all ties back into a central hub here at uh, City Hall, all tied in through fiber, the fiber network that's provided by Charter at this time. Um, back in 1999, Charter came in and had a franchise agreement with the three cities, Gilroy, Hollister, and San Juan Batista, to put a nine-net fiber uh, network in place um, in which the three cities were allowed to use six strands of those fibers at no cost for 10 years. Um, it, back in 2009 when the franchise agreement ended, uh, there was a settlement agreement between Charter and the cities to extend that another five more years based on some things that weren't com quite completed in the original agreement. And uh, that ends December 31st, 2014, at which the following day, January 1st, Charter is going to charge each location a uh, cost per month of connectivity for use of the fiber. And initial estimates from Charter um, range between 1500 to 2000 a month per location. I'm trying to narrow that down to see exactly what it's going to be for 2015, but um, decided at this point, since we're so close, it's better to kind of get the word out there that this is kind of coming. Um, where we can actually budget for funds for, for use of this fiber, <clears throat> or we can actually put some of that money aside and work on putting our own fiber or connection, some sort of connection to each location. Um, right now I'm working with city engineers and the county on getting a kind of a backbone from City Hall all the way out uh, San Felipe Road 
to the county build, the new county admin building, sheriff's department, police department, and airport. And now there's going to be a possible fire station out there at the airport too. It becomes even more important. And so the 26,000 is 13% of the overall 200,000 that I budgeted for um, that we'd be looking at per year based on charter's cost out of the airport fund. 44% would come, or 43% would come out of the general fund, and then water and sewer would each be 22%. Any questions? Do we know back in uh, 1999 if they knew what this was going to cost when the contract ran out? I couldn't tell you what that was back <laughs> in 1999. I wasn't, I wasn't around what, during that whole negotiations. So are you looking at alternatives uh, away well, from Charter? Yes, we're looking at several alternatives. Um, right now, Charter is kind of the easiest because everything's in place. I am looking at a wireless solution. We're looking at putting our own fiber lines throughout the city. Um, of course, that takes a lot of cost to do that. Mm -hmm. Um, so we're kind of figuring out the routes and the best way to do that and the funding for that too, be it with grants, partnership with counties, schools, <coughs> other agencies. Um, with, yeah, other, other options too. But one of the, the options that um, is pretty important to understand that you know, everything's centrally managed here. So uh, we have a server that will have several servers that actually Everybody, all the staff in the city connected, they get their emails, they get their, their documents, mapping, GIS, everything. Uh, internet connection also comes out of City Hall. So everything's kind of tied in here. So that's why we kind of don't want to go <coughs> backwards and separate the, uh, each location. That was a 13% uh, for everybody. It's not, it's not based on the amount of usage. It's based on um, the amount of staff and computer connections, based on the way it, it's split between you know computer software and other stuff for other budgeting purposes. I just took that percentage that we're currently using for other budgeting purposes. As so it's not 13 percent for everybody. No, 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 no. Well, the airport fund proportion is 13 percent. Right. General okay. fund would be. What are some of the others? General fund is 44% or 43%. What was that? General fund. Okay. Uh, and they're looking at 86,000. Um, water and sewer funds are each 40, <clears throat> or 22%. So it's 44,000 for each of those. And that would be annually. So I'd like to make a comment or question or two here, if I may. Yes. Uh, so the 13% is a separate thing I'd like to understand. You mentioned based on usage and so forth. Uh, but my concern is the the two thousand dollars a month uh, for basic connect connectivity, now, internet connectivity, connectivity to Google Earth, to the GIS system, things like this are, are is just internet connectivity. It's not internet. No, it's connectivity from. You can one, get you can get Google Earth. Another. I can get Google Earth at home. I can get the GIS system at home. Yeah, but what we're talking is the fiber connection from. A location no. to City Hall, not what, in well, order what to I'm, get what, to the internet. They have to get to City Hall to get to the internet. Well, the way you've designed it, in order to get the to way the it internet. currently works. Yes, the way it currently works. I'm saying the if you the things that you're talking about, they need can be gotten. Most of them, not all of them, most of them can be, can be gotten through any internet connection. Not most of them, no. Well. We're talking finance applications. Okay, the, 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 the specific core city, city applications, core that, city are, applications that are here. Okay, are here. you have to have an access to that. Right. The, the rest of the internet stuff is available on a normal internet connection. There, I mean, there's a lot of the stuff you're, you're that I've seen. You're generalizing a lot of well, it. Well, I, I know, I understand, I understand. But, okay. but it sounds like what we're doing is paying almost 2000 a month just to connect to the city. Uh, that is from the airport to the city. Keep that fiber connection. And I, I just, that seems like there's got to be a cheaper way to do that. 
I'm working with Charter on getting the actual quote estimates down. Um, I mean, there's Charter, there's presumably AT&T. Yeah, AT&T, when they're talking, putting fiber in and the cost to install the fiber on top of that. I mean, they're um, going to put fiber in someday anyway, right? Right, but they don't have it now, so to do that would... If they squeeze would, it out of you, they'll do yeah, it. Yeah, they'll I do know. that to have uh, AT&T. Another thing we're looking at is possibly having uh, wireless connection, you know, microwave yeah. at each location. Even that, you're, you're looking at quite a bit of money because you have the equipment that's like fifty to 60000 per connection, and then you have that equipment that over a certain amount of years is obsolete. So, and we're right. constantly upgrading that. Once fiber's in the ground, it's in the ground. And if the city owns it, then we so maintain So let, let me ask you another question here, or point out something else and have you explain to me why this doesn't work or whatever. But, um, you know, there's, there's VPN kind of connections that if, as long as you have an internet, you can get to, um, like, to the city if you're, you've got to log in and so forth. Um, I presume there's other methods that as long as you have an interconnect, internet connection, you can get to the city. Um, and those would be a whole lot cheaper than 2000 a month. You're, in a way, yes, but you are limiting the amount of connections through a VPN that are available to connect into the city network. We'd have to upgrade our firewall to allow hundreds of connections. I'm, I'm talking about the airport now, which is about three connections. Well, to do that, we'd have to upgrade the firewall anyway because you're talking about just not the airport. You're talking about splitting up uh, several. You, you don't. Up the you network you in have general. a firewall that right now that what that won't support a VPN. No, I have firewall that supports the VPN, but it's only got a limited amount of connections, and you're only um, the bandwidth that you can't just pull large documents off in a timely manner like you could if you were on. I understand you don't get the performance that you'll get with right. with with fiber optic. No doubt about it. I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm trying to say that it looks like we're spending two thousand dollars a month for some, you know, best performance. And I'm saying I believe I don't think the airport needs it. And I, okay. so that's why I personally think looking at alternatives is is important. No, and, and that's what I'm saying. I am looking at alternatives, well, and part I, of that thirteen percent is is the cover some of that cost for the alternatives. So if we have those alternatives in place, we won't need to pay Charter 2000 a month. Well, okay. Yeah. So, okay. Well, it, it clearly got my attention. Yeah. I, just, and, I mean, that's yeah. kind of why I wanted to throw it out there now, so it's kind of out in the open that this is coming. And so, you know, we're working on ways around not being stuck with 2000 a month with Charter, <coughs> being stuck with Charter in general. It may be a mix of these locations, because of the how far away they are, need to stay with Charter, and others we can do wireless, and others we can actually run our own fiber to. Um, and I'm looking at the city as a whole, not just the airport, you know, and I mean, that's my focus. Um, and so that's why I'm throwing it out there to, in this budget, not just for the airport, but I mean for all, all the funds yeah. for every department. Well, Okay, I, I, I personally would, uh, speaking for myself, uh, I'll have an ongoing interest on what you're doing because Definitely. it seems like you know, there's got to be cheaper ways to do this. Oh. Uh, my other or second separate question was the 13%. Uh, I was trying to understand that. That seems like, given that the airport has, I think, three people, three full time employees. And I think the city in total total has a uh, hundred or something, right. uh, of thereabouts. Um, and I'm, I don't suppose all of those have computers or on their desk or have desks even. But uh, I'm just curious. We have what three? Well, we have four if we include the AWOS. That's an internet connection. Right. Um, is does that represent 13 percent of the of uh, people served or the, the computers the served? based upon what I received from finance, that they would be charging each fund for. In other words, I need to go after finance. <laughs> I'm 
and basically that's, I mean, what I gave them was the amount of computers that we have, the amount of users that we have, and they came and up where with they are. And where uh, they are. Okay, yeah. so, uh, all right, so that's basically, Plants came up with that number based on your input. Right, based on the information I gave them. Okay, all right, thank you. Well, I have a question. Do we have the option of, of not accepting uh, fiber and just going with DSL connect out at the airport? The DSL connection, I mean, we you have that option. The only thing is you're not on the, the network anymore. You're actually going out to the internet oh. and you're slowed down on speed upload and <coughs> upload for sure is way less than download. Mm -hmm. And it's going to definitely affect the performance that they currently have at the airport any location with uh, pulling up files, pulling up their email. Remember, their email comes through here before it actually goes out to the internet. So you're well, basically going around to get into the network and then go back out again. And that also affects the internet connection for everybody else in the city that they use. <coughs> that key problem is going to be Tyler. Tyler is, yeah, he, that needs to be on a network. That's not a financial supported. program for the city. Uh, at, we had a 100 gigabyte switch. 100 megabit. Or 100 megabyte switch at the airport, and Tyler did not work. It took Lynn an hour to process one bill. We switched it to a gigabyte, gigabyte. switch, and now it works. What are we getting now? How many? A, a gigabyte switch. Um, one, one gigabyte? One gigabit. It's, a, it's, a, right. that, it's 100 yeah, times it's faster little. than the, the switch they had before. Yeah. And basically, with the fiber, it allows us to have as much speed as we want on the network. You know, it's only limited by whatever switch I put on either side. If it's a 10 gigabit switch, then that's 10 gigabits of speed. You're not holding out on me. <laughs> <laughs> we're, not, we're not there. Well, <laughs> so I, you know, I, I don't understand programs that have to have a 100 gigabit switch. Or 100 gigabits per second. Is it megabits or gigabits? megabits? Megabits per second. Yeah. Somebody's technology's yeah. Well, anyway, I won't flowing up that. and yeah. you know poor design in my opinion, but uh, that's all right. Okay, I'll, I'll try and be quiet. On <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions about the commission? Yeah, Doug. What uh, what's the milestone date in which you have to make a decision in order to meet the uh, December 31st, 2014 date? Um, we're working right now on alternatives. But definitely December 31st is the date that it cuts over to, to charter. We don't have to go with charter, but we have to have something else in place. Um, I'm looking at as soon as, as soon as we can get funding to, to do a lot of this stuff. How long does it take to put fiber in the ground? Um, we have about a year to do it, at least. A, we then had we, your milestone date be well more than a year ahead of that time. Oh yeah, we're looking at a like a five-year plan to to get all the city connections on fiber. Does that mean you're going to be going with fiber with charter after December 31st, 2014? It, even if you make a decision, it depends on what we have in place at the time. If because the treatment plant might it's so far away it might have to stay on fiber um, the yard has three different um, departments running in it and they're in the same boat as as the airport where they need the applications mm -hmm. stuff like that we can't get fiber to there in time or a wireless connection that's solid enough to keep it all three going mm -hmm. we might have to you know what's the ROM cost to doing all this Put, putting some of these things in place? Um, we're looking at a, a backbone going from City Hall out to the Those Fair, Fairview, not Fairview, um, San Felipe Road, and the PD and, and airport. That's about 600000 we're looking at right now. And then sharing mm -hmm. some of that cost with the county to get the main backbone out that way. Um, that's obviously it's going to depend on where we go, like to get to station, fire station two is quite a, quite a ways, and that's, that's probably going to cost a little more. We're, we how might long, have to go wireless How long have you been doing this trade off now? When did, when did you start doing it? Uh, we've been kind of in the planning for the last couple of years. Hmm. I would suggest that you're deficient in scheduling 
No, I understand that. Huh? Yeah. I mean, you don't know where you're going. You haven't got a plan. Or There's no plan on when you've got to make a decision on what you're going to go with. I, I, the engineering department's been tasked to come up with a master plan for this project. Is that why it's not done? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. You, you understand what I'm saying? I it totally seems to me like you understand. need to have a milestone on when you're going to decide what you're going to do and, and how much it's going to cost because that decision will ultimately have a lot to do with the downstream cost, especially when you're carrying charter beyond December 31st, 2014, because right. they know they got you. Right, exactly. Well, what are you going to do and negotiate? You haven't got anything to negotiate. Right. You're stuck. Mm -hmm. Besides a plan that we're putting together. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. I would suggest earlier than later, and I realize I'm maybe picking on the wrong guy, but uh, it doesn't look like proper planning to me. I understand that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Any other questions? No. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Paul. Thanks, Paul. Okay, the next item on the agenda is the airport update. Air show. Air show, show. Air show update. I'm sorry. Um, everything's <coughs> preparations are going along smoothly. A um, couple of items of infrastructure were placed on back order last week. Um, I did not have time today to call the vendors to make sure I'm going to have them by next week. Um, that will happen tomorrow. Um, as you're aware that on May 8th we're doing a uh, mini show for the mixer at uh, Mr. Gabe's hangar. Um, Carl Leopold's going to be coming over and flying. We're planning on that being a full um, dress rehearsal, for lack of a better term, of the uh, infrastructure required to communicate between the pilots and the crowd and everything else. Mm -hmm. So we're going to set up the tower. We're going to set up the radios. We're going to set up the PAs. We're going to set up the music. We're going to set everything up just to make sure everything works while we still have time to fix it if it doesn't work. So um, in fact, I believe we got a volunteer even the fly on May 8th so that we can establish, uh, you know, communication ranges with the equipment we have, <clears throat> everything else, because this is all new equipment that we're using this year uh, that now belongs to the airport, so we need to get it zeroed in on what it can do. Um, I believe everything is going to work out great, but um, that's where we're going from there. So um, let's see. Uh, this weekend's the Young Eagles event. We're going to use some of the equipment at that event, so there'll be another little rehearsal for the event. Uh, the construction project is not going to interfere with the air show. Um, Chapin is shutting down. Uh, everybody, the, the um, PRI, the group that owns the farmlands to the north, has agreed to get the tenants off the property. Um, MC Electronics has agreed to shut down, so we're all good airspace, safety zones-wise. That's not a problem. Um, so all in all, we're just kind of waiting for it to happen, hoping for good weather. Um, really trying to get people to buy the tickets ahead of time online. Uh, online sales have been extremely slow, which is disappointing. Uh, we believe we put enough of an incentive in there to get the tickets online by uh, saving about $17 per family if they buy it online. but. Uh, this is the first year we've done online sales, and it's an experiment. TV commercial started. Uh, they're running. Uh, Commissioner Judd saw one. I don't know if any of the rest of you have seen one yet. I haven't had a chance to watch TV this week, so I haven't seen one. But I know I have several <laughs> recorded <laughs> that I'm looking forward to seeing. Um, the theater advertisements go on, the, the road advertisements are up, the program advertisements are all in place. In about two weeks, um, uh, San Benito County was swallowed by Monterey County um, several years ago when it comes to the Boy Scouts. So for years, uh, the, the Scout District's always been those two counties. Well, just recently, Monterey County and San Benito County and Santa Cruz County were swallowed by Santa Clara County. So now the Scout District for our area is all four counties. 
This is the first year of that. They're doing a huge jamboree at the Historical Museum in San Jose in about two weeks. Um, they're expecting over 6,000 families to attend that. Um, I did advertisement in that brochure that's going out to those 6,000 families. So hopefully that will pick up um, a lot of attendance. Uh, we even did an incentive for scouts where the first 250 in uniform are actually going to receive a patch um, that we had made up this year. So um, I believe our advertising plan is strong. It's diversified. We're doing the best we can. Um, I may have gotten some really exciting news. Unfortunately, I can't share it at this time because it did not get confirmed tonight as it was indicated that it would. Um, but hopefully it does get confirmed, and if it is, it's really big news. Um, the military is totally out. All four armed forces are grounded. In fact, I heard on KGO this afternoon when I was running around that they're even canceling Fleet Week in San Francisco um, due to no participation in the military. But our strong point has never been the military. That's good for us. We're diversified. We got, we're going to have jets. We're going to have propellers. We're going to have aerobatics. We're going to have everything. So um, this is going to be one of the best shows people can get to that's affordable. So we even threw in a motorcycle stunt this year um, in honor of the rally coming back. So uh, vendor, vendor notifications have been coming through fast and heavy. Uh, every day we're having four vendors apply. So vendor sales are going to be strong. Um, so any other questions about the air show or anything in particular? Any, any uh, uh, commitment yet from Aries on the drop? Uh, no, I believe Doug was going to attempt to call him today. I don't know how that went. Well, uh, I'll find out tomorrow. So. Uh, re related, since you touched on it, on May 8th uh, with Leopold, is, is there going to be a, a box and a, and yes. a, a NOTAM to yes. all that stuff? Yep. Okay. Would you know roughly when, when that will be? May 8th at... Yeah, I mean, it, what's the time frame? I want to say it's 6 o'clock, isn't it? From oh, at evening. 5.30. Oh, it'll be evening? Yes. Oh, I see. So it's shutting down. It's only 15 minutes. Okay, but, but you don't have to worry about shutting down. I mean, MC will pro hopefully... Well, they'll have to be closed, right? No, we're going to use the Friday box, which doesn't go off property. The which one? The Friday box. The practice oh, box. Oh, oh, the little itty bitty box. Yeah, the itty bitty box. <laughs> okay. He got the itty bitty plane, so he fits in the itty bitty oh, box. Okay, thank you. Okay, any other questions? I have to back up here a minute. I made a, I goofed. I forgot to, uh, on item five, consent approve the minutes of the Airport Advisory Commission of March 27, 2013. I missed that. I'll second it. <clears throat> okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Motion carried. Can we go back to the air show just for one second? Yes. I do have one related announcement for those pilots that are listening and paying attention at home. Um, because it's air show season, we actually have several air show or er, er, aerobatic practice boxes in our in the area of our airport. Um, one of our performers, Vicki Benzing, came in on Friday and I had a chance to talk to her last Friday. And she was actually over practicing in her aerobatic box over there. And apparently somebody flew right through the middle of it right when she was in there practicing. So please, for those of you that are playing at home and those of you in the audience that are pilots, check your notams, heads up, figure out where those boxes are and don't fly through them. Um, it could be quite dangerous for everybody involved. Is that the one at New Jerusalem? No, that's the one to the west of Highway 25 over the hills. Oh, I'm not aware of that one. Do, would it maybe make sense to put uh, a notice like that out at the uh, airport bulletin board? Yes, I asked her to send me an email with a map on yeah. it and yeah. so that yeah. I could get it out to everybody, including... Santa Clara County Airports and uh, Monterey County Airports. 
to yeah, get out maybe, to their Maybe pilots. Fred could distribute that along with <clears throat> yeah, could. And talk the, to the, the California map, Pilot the map Association. You mean? Yeah. yeah, the map and and uh, I'm quite frankly, I don't think I've ever. Of course, I don't admit I don't check NOTAMs all that frequently, but uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure I've ever seen a NOTAM for a practice aerobatic box. I'm not aware of that box was used. I mean, anywhere, but that's mm -hmm. you know. She told me it was NOTAM and everything. So Re remember that we just had a brand new aerobatic box put in for the sailplanes. Uh, probably less than a year ago. Uh huh. To the east of That's us. The east. To the east. A little bit to the east. Yeah. Pretty so much so. they Too are far. around. I think that'd be a good idea to. Nice to have a map that. or something. Yeah. Yeah, if I can get it via email, then I can send it to the whole world. I am nice. trying to get that. Yeah, if we know where they are, and if it's you know not inconvenient, I just make sure I never fly through them, <laughs> ever. Good policy. Yeah. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. The next item is the drainage construction update. So uh, our two and a half million dollar drainage project <coughs> is going great. Um, our winter delay is over. Uh, they hit the ground running. They've been working for two weeks now. Um, they have almost totally installed the drain line from taxiway, well, from north of the runway um, all the way down to there, right at taxiway delta as of today. Um, next week, they'll make the taxiway delta crossing because that's a extra wide crossing because it's the diagonal high speed taxiway. Um, so it's going to take a couple days to do that, and they don't want to get started and have to have it closed on the weekend. So they'll be make, making that crossing next week, um, at which point. Uh, they should be able to actually finish up down there and get out of there. As of this afternoon, the schedule's kind of changing around. We will be shutting down runway 3113 Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday next week so that they can finish the grading that goes into the runway safety zone next to the runways. Um, FAA is not allowing any of that work to take place with the runway open. So it has to be closed. Um, by allowing them to do that, we are accelerating the schedule. I know we weren't going to close the runway anymore except at night, but we should be able to actually gain a week in getting this done and them out of here by doing that. So we are going to allow them to do that. So the that, run, runway will be shut down the first through the third? It's looking that way. I will know for sure on Monday when I issue the note. Okay. Um, two four will be open, as well as uh, Taxiway Charlie will be open. Um, so, in fact, and if any of you want to come see me, I'll take you out there and show you. Um, there's quite a severe grading project going on. Uh, Commissioner uh, Dick Judd and Commissioner Myers have been out there and seen it. Um, they're really moving a lot of dirt out of there. Um, it's a nice grade off the runway now, almost all the way to the edge of the taxiway, and there's probably a eight-foot drop uh, <laughs> off the edge of the taxiway at this point, so um, at like a 45-degree angle. So uh, they're doing a great job. It's looking good. They're, they told us today during our construction meeting they're about a week and a half ahead of schedule. Um, there's a water line that's going to have to be lowered to the uh, southwest um, that just catches the end of the project uh, over there in the Golden Triangle area, um, the 3 1 run up area. Uh, there's a water line there that, as a result of the project, will only have four inches of dirt on top of it. So it has to be lowered because uh, requirements are to have three feet of dirt minimum on top of the water line. Um, that work should be starting probably in the next 10 days and shouldn't take more than two days. Um, what else is going on with the project? Uh, all in all, I'm pleased. Everything's working well. Um, as a result of the Boston situation uh, last week, uh, the airport received a security alert. Uh, we were told to batten down the hatches. The contractor responded great, did everything we asked and uh, I couldn't ask for anything more. So 
I'm pleased. What do we do? That's not for public consumption. <laughs> now, all this could great. You, oh, could you easily fill in uh, the, the back page of this uh, Chapin schedule? Start so, parking in some of these boxes. So you're looking at the one that goes out to July? No, I'm looking at the back side. The one that goes out to May 5th? Yeah, because it looks like you said you're pretty. Yeah, that's out. That's totally out the door. It, what do you mean out the door? It's totally complete? No, it's totally been rechanged after today's meeting um, because of the air show and um, a limitation on low profile barricades. Are, are some of these things done? or are, uh, You said you're two weeks ahead, so I assume it all, um, most of this is done. Most of it is just about done. The 30-inch RCP is installed. It is? Um, yeah, that's done on both, in all three places. Uh, the 18-inch RCP is the number 12 is done. They still have to do number 18. What's RCP? Uh, uh, reinforced concrete pipe. Thank you. Uh, the mass grading, it will not be done until the runway closure, and then that will be done. <coughs> it's about 85% done, but because of the, art, of the runway safety area, they can't get out there and finish it. Well, how, how old is this? Have you got a new schedule? Is that what you mean? This schedule is actually two weeks old. I should be getting a new schedule tomorrow as a result of today's meeting. Do you have a master schedule that shows everything, with everything that's done? Uh, the master that? schedule's on the back, and because we got this two weeks ago, which was a week into the project, <laughs> nothing on there is indicated as done because nothing was done. Oh. But remember, we have to prepare your packets well ahead of time of the meeting and everything else. So. Thank you. Hey, uh, the next item uh, is the budget. Okay. Met with the city manager um, two days ago. This week's kind of a blur. Bear with me. Uh, there's a couple changes, and I, I made an error when I was printing the budget that you have in your hands, and that is on page 11 of 21. Because I did not check a box properly in our lovely financial program, um, it omitted a, the $26,000 fiber optic item. That's why That's you okay. couldn't find it. So we need to write that one back in. So that goes right above the $2,600 value there is where that goes in the budget. And for the next meeting, I'll run a new one that has it in there. But uh, there is that $26,000 fiber optic um, item still in there. Yeah, everything's off. Um, and then the city manager made a change on page 13 to 21. Uh, where it says, uh, Actually, and also on the previous page, but where it says repairs and maintenance towards the bottom on page 13, um, he elevated that 12,000 to 18,000. Yes. Oh, you mean the last one on the right? The last one on the right, which is oh. next year's amount. Right. And then if you look at uh, on the right above it on the previous page where it says operating supplies. He also elevated that to 18. Page 12 to 21 at the bottom. 
Okay. Other than that, the, than that, there were no other changes to the uh, budget in that process. You had uh, somebody marked in there, workers' comp. Yeah. That value? That, that value stayed at that amount. Okay. Despite my best lobbying efforts. Any other comments, questions? Yeah, I have a, a question. So according to my analysis of this thing, the 601 account, yes, we're ahead by $8,297 right now. Um, we should be, yes. That's on page 20 on the bottom there, 8297. On 601 over under. Yes. <clears throat> And then the 519-103 minus, that's report total, right? But that's the uh, 212 fund and everything else. No. Uh, remember, what we're doing is we're moving, we're closing out the Building 25-228 fund. Mm -hmm. And we're moving that $800,000 into Fund 601 in the designated fund balance that's reserved for the FAA matching funds. All right. <laughs> so that, that throws mean? all these totals out of whack because it's in there. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, <clears throat> I'm having trouble figuring out what that means, 519,000 minus on year-to-date total right on the bottom of that page. It says report over under page 20. Mm-hmm. I'm just trying to figure it out. Oh, yeah, it does include all the other funds also <clears throat> yeah. so. okay anyway any other comments questions yeah, yeah I, I'm trying to find a reference here if I may so um, there's there's in, they're in some notes here this um, these reserve funds that we've been trying to have set up hmm. um, but I don't I didn't see any, anything I mean, they're just in a note somewhere. Yeah, they don't show up on this report because this is the operating budget. Um, this is not a fund balance sheet. Right. Okay. I have to run a different report for you oh. to see that. Okay. Will we get that sometime? Sure. When would you? How like many pages is that? <laughs> Hopefully not one, very that's many. That's only one page. Okay. Good. Yeah. Or two. All right. All right. Because there's a bunch of asset stuff on there. I too. guess I'd just like to <clears throat> see it, and even if it says zero, I, I, I think it's an it. Well, I think that's, yeah, it's topic for future agenda. I just wondered why I didn't see it. But thank you. One more question. What's the uh, 4200 account? What is that? 4200 means airport. 4200? Yes. That's what 601. Well, airport, uh, 601 is the fund, right. airport, but where you see um, 4200, it's our department. Where you see um, 1157, that's Paul's department. Where you see 1100, that's, um, that's just general. Yeah. Okay. Non departmental, which is, you know, administration. Okay. That's what that means. So that's, that includes the uh, FA funding, blah, 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 all the rest of that stuff, right? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Got it. Any other comments, questions? <clears throat> you still looking, Dean? <laughs> mm. Well, I'm still looking, but I'm... Well, a comment. There's a couple of these uh, these um, descriptions that seem to be cut off. I don't understand that. Makes me wonder if there's anything below that. There probably is. Um, <laughs> that would be encode. I mean, you know, I get a half a line and it's blank. But that I understand. A yeah, um, couple places. Not real thrilled with that. Um, either are we. 
So um, I guess I could put commas in and try to go no, over well. I, I don't know. I, I just it's I can't do two, two columns. No, uh, that's it's, right. Okay. It's very limited in what it will do. Uh, hanger waiting list. I noticed it says year to date you got seven seventy two and some odd number. Sixty two cents. Uh, yeah. Uh, you tell me what, what's going on there. I mean, that, we you got me. You make the deposit. We got a bunch of people. <laughs> what, what I mean, you it, <laughs> it implies that you expect about ten people on the list. It's twenty five dollars a year, right? Yes. So you expect about ten. There's been people. a lot of turnover this year. Oh, uh, even just in the list. Oh yeah. Okay. Huh. Well, thank you. I think I covered that. And and other thing in here, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, I had the uh, the rent for the spray fields. Yeah. That's in. So those ground lease figures are a lot cl where they're s supposed to be, yeah. rather than what they look like for most. Yeah, it was of the year. in one of your that was in your notes, right? It was in the notes. Yeah, but I actually had them move the money already so that the totals show that it, Oh. Because, yeah. you know, having that $40,000 chunk wait until the end of the year really throws all the totals off. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that's done. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Uh, oh. What's MBA Asia annual liability premium? That is our um, one of our insurance policies for the airport and that's Monterey Bay area um, insurance something oh. something and basically it's a group of cities that join together so we can buy better insurance okay. um, it's us Gonzalez Salinas used to be in there but they pulled out uh, I think uh, um, what's that place about Santa Cruz Scotts Valley is in there um, okay. King City's in there. Okay. Uh, what, by the way, was DR underbar? What does that mean? Where's that? Uh, the top right column of every page. Page what? Uh, any page. Top right. Define budgets. Why does it say define? Department requested. Department requested. Okay. That's the amount that I'm requesting. And defined oh. budget means? It, next year. So when you see this next time, it's going to say CM, and that's what the city manager's requesting from the council. Oh. <clears throat> okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm done. Yeah, hey, I'm done. shall we move on, or are you done? I'm done. You're done. Thank you. What's next here? Okay. Uh, old business. I guess we don't have any. And new business airport insurance resolution defining the phase adequate insurance as used in the House Municipal Code Section 1324.540. Have to excuse us, uh, Mr. Chairman. You're going to hand it over to the past chairman to take over. So. You're giving a report, or we're adopting this as a. I was going to give you a quickie and a quick report here, and we'll go from there. So, uh, currently in the municipal code, we require all T hanger and ramp tenants to have quote unquote adequate insurance. Nowhere in the municipal code is that defined as a monetary value, as a type of insurance. So, an argument can be made and has been made that a dollar fifty policy is adequate insurance for my aircraft because it doesn't fly or other people think that five million dollars is adequate insurance so what my intention with this is to set a minimum level of insurance that's a reasonable amount that will protect us if say somebody burns down a row of hangers um, and they have a dollar fifty insurance that's not good. So um, I actually brought in an insurance professional that, that works with the city. And we went over our insurance. But while he was there, I asked him what, in his professional opinion, adequate insurance would be. He indicated that it would be $1 million general liability insurance 
with the city named as additionally insured. I conducted a kind of a straw poll of some of the tenants around the airport and the majority of active pilots say has have one million dollars of liability insurance. Um, not very many people name the city as additionally insured. We have probably about eight um, certificates that we get on a regular basis doing that. Um, so I'm looking for a little better compliance there, obviously. Um, so. It was my feeling that that level was the proper level, that it doesn't create an unreasonable burden upon a pilot to have that level of insurance. I've been told by pilots that getting a certificate naming the city as additionally insured does not cost any additional money than the, the premium they're already paying. So with that, my, what I'm recommending to you folks is to support this um, resolution and if you do, I plan to take it to the city council on May 20th and ask them to please define those words at this amount, at which point I will begin an educational process with the tenants at the airport and give them a grace period to come into compliance. And um, after that, if they fail to come into compliance, um, I will take actions to gain compliance. Is there objections uh, I I'm gonna guess that uh, two percent may object because their aircraft are uh, unflyable uh, unairworthy and um, you know the few good jet guy I can understand him having a problem with having to insure that for a million dollars but uh, I don't see any point in making an exception on a law for the ramp and, and, and hangar people that are using our facility and we have some liability with them having equipment out there on our facility. I mean, they maintain their liability even though their planes are not operable. That's correct. Because yeah. we could have a windstorm and their plane could blow loose and land in the middle of Teresa's office. And if they don't have insurance, you know who's going to wind up I can tell you who's we're all going to get sued and who's going to wind up paying the people with the deep pockets mm -hmm. is there any discussion or <coughs> concern I don't feel it's unreasonable to ask that I mean if anyone's got an airplane out there you know that's worth anything these are general amounts No other discussion. I entertain a motion to uh, recommend to the City Council of adoption. So moved. Second. Motion is second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. All righty. Thank you. You're welcome. just so everybody understands why well, you two had to go to the audience you were supposed to explain that before it happened um, both Commissioner Meyer and Commissioner Judd are tenants of the airport and they have a financial stake in that decision so California state law requires them to excuse themselves from the proceedings during that item because they could be influenced by their financial stake to vote one way or another yeah. <laughs> right <clears throat> okay, the next item is the tire grant approved. Yes, um, I applied for uh, the tire grant again for this year, and lo and behold, we got it. So I'll be spreading more tire chips around the airport. That's a $150,000 grant. And we buy all that from a very local very local business he's across the street from the airport so uh, that's Kim, good news Art, this is a tire you lay on the ground weed control and mm -hmm. whatever dust control huh? Rain. but don't that's the, do I see weeds coming through it there are weeds coming through but it's 
Minimum. About 20% of what we used to get. Okay. Um, so it, it has reduced the chemicals that we spray by 80%. Um, which is a lot of money. So okay. we would have 100% um, compliance if we spent a bunch of money and put an underlayment underneath it, but landscape fabric is extremely expensive. Um, so that's why we just put them on thick. Okay. Thank you. Right in front of your jet intakes. <laughs> um, actually, they will be going on your side of the airport, uh, that strip next to the road and the fence where all those weeds are. Um, and also, uh, when you go onto the gate to the east, uh, kind of following that fence line, the through the fence fence line, basically, for lack of a better term, to keep the weeds out of the fence to ease our maintenance of the facility. Nowhere near your jet engines. If you put pre-emergent on that stuff, does it soak into the rubber, or will it go, will it go down into the ground? Oh, it, it, it works, and that's what we do. Um, we put the pre-emergent in and, and after, after the tire. But we don't there. use the liquid pre-emergent. We use the yeah. granular. Yeah. What do you say? We don't use the liquid pre-emergent. We use a granular pre-emergent. Pre what's that? It prevents the weeds from germinating. Roundup. Actually, no. that's called Ron Star. <laughs> okay. So, since you brought it up, uh, why do we use granular as opposed to liquid, and what's the pros and cons of either one? On the rubber, you use the granular because it stays there longer and it doesn't um, get diluted by all the nooks and grannies. It kind of falls down to the bottom and gets to the dirt mm -hmm. and, and works. If you use the liquid, all the surfaces would absorb the liquid and it would never get down to the, where it needs to go. We use the liquid pre-emergent where we spray in general during the fall months. Like you're gonna, if anybody gets up at 5.30 in the morning and sees me out there in the tractor tomorrow, you'll see me spraying. We will not be spraying any pre-emergent tomorrow because you actually need rain within 30 days of the liquid pre-emergent for it to um, activate. Um, the granular pre-emergent, you don't need that. Anytime it rains, it hits the granules. It's kind of like slug repellent, and it works a lot longer, but it's also a lot more expensive. Okay. Thank you. Any more discussion by the commission? <clears throat> okay. Uh, okay, items for the next agenda. I guess we'll probably... Uh, the air show update we'll leave on, drainage construction update, and the budget. I guess you're going to leave that on also, right? Anything else? Yeah, I, I have some suggestions. Yes. Um, there's some issues been going on with the Dingling uh, Cafe, and I think we'd like to get a report on that if we could. Um, Cal Fire has been a little bit of an issue ongoing. If there's anything to say about oh, yeah. contract or what non-contract or what's going on there. And uh, the third item I have is related to these reserve funds that I was asking about. And uh, uh, Commissioner Jackson has expressed to me in the past that you know it's concerned that we seem never to get anything into those reserve funds. And I, I guess I'd like us to have, a, if we can, a general discussion about how to deal with that, whether we, you know, what, uh, how, you know, if and when we're ever going to get anything into them and so forth. So if that meets with the Commission's of desires, I'd like to address this and may expand into a bigger issue of, you know, are we getting enough money coming into the airport? But I, I'm just concerned that we keep limping along here and um, not ever seem to get ahead. So it might open up that can of worms and might, might have to recuse myself during the discussions, I suppose. But, but anyway, we get started and look at it and talk about it. That's what 
what I've got. So would that be an item to be like a, a create a reserve fund? I mean, no. Well, the reserve funds are there, but it's, there. it's a discussion item. To be, the fact that there's nothing in them and there's nothing planned to go in them, uh, and there's no foreseeable thing going into them because something's always coming up. And uh, I mean, the budget doesn't. Uh, this budget we just went over doesn't put anything in those funds, as I recall. Is that is that correct? Um, I have been instructed not to do it by budget, but do it by memo at the end of the financial year. You mean if there's anything left over, we put it in? Yeah. Which which says we're not planning. It was just kind of a. I mean, you've been instructed to do that. Is that the way we should be doing this? I personally, I mean, I, you know, I don't want to talk about it now, but mm. these are the issues that I'm, I'd like us to all to be, if nothing else, all on the same page on it. You know, I'm. Well, I'm, is that the city manager or the city council yeah. that's instructed you to do it later? What's left over? Finance department. Yeah. Anyway, I mean, we don't the have show? to. Hmm? That's the wrong answer. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. We well, can we do it next to next meeting. But, uh, it. What? We need to talk to somebody that controls it, not the finance people. I think we have a genitized. Yeah. Anyway, put it. Well, however you want to phrase it, I, we should talk about it next meeting. The only point is that we're talking about it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I don't know what. Huh. You, what, what, what? How do you describe the the item? Mm. You already described it pretty fast. <laughs> <laughs> Many sentences. How do I? Reserve fund. Reserve, reserve fund. fund. Okay. Discussion. <laughs> uh, Designated fund balance. Where can we what steal some However, <laughs> come up with something clever, please, Mike. Designated fund balance. Okay. Well, we could save money if we didn't have to pay the 2000 a month for fiber optics. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about that next time. <laughs> I'd save money if the infrastructure wasn't falling apart, too. <clears throat> okay. Um, items, uh, next meeting date will be May, June 26, 2013. Is that? We're going to skip, skip May, right, because of the air show. I would really appreciate it if we could. Because <laughs> that is two days before, and I'm going to be really busy. We'll do it at the airport. Hmm. I'll look into the dates that the council chamber is available and uh, send out a notice to everyone. <clears throat> and then. Do I do it at the airport? <clears throat> or we can do it at the airport conference. It's always a hmm. possibility. We have a flag. <clears throat> so the commission in agreement, we're going to have it at the airport on June the 26th? All motion. I have a motion. Do I have a second? What, what, are, what are we voting on? That we're going to move, we're going to have the airport meeting, or the commission meeting at the airport on June the 26th. Yeah, I didn't, I thought we'd, that would have actually had already, didn't we decide that last month? Is just this is just telling us that what we decided last month. We decided last month to skip May. Yeah. Right. Uh, but not where the location would be for the meeting. Right. Sounds like we, we did. We just where did we just change it to? Did we change it to the airport. <laughs> he was trying to. Oh. <laughs> He's waiting for a second. <laughs> I'll second. Right. There we go. I have a second. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Opposed. Oh. Motion carried. Okay. Okay. <laughs>